All right, welcome back. We are now going to create our first post. What I love about Ghost is just how simple it is. If you've ever published anything on Medium, it's gonna feel very similar. So let's jump into our screen. And you can see here again, we've got our main dashboard, by the way, your dashboard here is, there's not a whole lot to display, but you can read through, you can read some of this other stuff. This is just how to use Ghost. It'll show like people that are subscribing to your emails. We're gonna to get to that in a future video. But view site, explore, I don't really worry about that one. Again, that's just to go read other people's posts and articles and stuff about ghosts and other things. We're gonna focus right here on posts. So you can see here when you expand this out, you've got drafts. This is stuff you're working on. You've got scheduled, meaning you are, Maybe you want to get ahead and you want to do a weekly post and you want to get four weeks ahead. That's your scheduled. And then published is the post you've already published. All right. So to get started, you can just click on this plus sign and look how easy this is. So we're going to put in our title. And let's say if I'm doing an eBay education business, I'm going to say three reasons why you need an eBay, let's see, three we let's say three reasons why you should sell sports cards on eBay. Okay. And just to get some text, let's take this. Let's take this over to chat GPT and let's say, can you write? I'm not telling you to do this. I'm just doing this to get copy. Chat GPT is great. We're gonna have videos depending on when you're watching this, on how to use it to do articles. But I am just getting some kind of dummy text. I'm not, I've not optimized it for SEO or anything like that. So can you write a blog post about... So again, I just want to show you how you can use this to do some formatting and make it look good and that sort of thing. All right, while that is finishing, let's jump back over into, I've already got too many tabs open. Jump back into our article. Now up here at the top, it says add a featured image. You can use your own images or again, Unsplash is your friend right here. Let's type in, let's just look at some of these other ones here. I like this one a lot. So I'm gonna insert image. Boom, now I've got a featured image for my blog post. I can click on the alt here. Well, that's one of the things you can do SEO wise. I'm going to show you a few SEO things here because I think it's important, but we do have a separate training on how to follow my SEO checklist. But right here, if you click on alt, you can add in, let's say the keyword was vintage sports cards on eBay or how to sell vintage sports cards on eBay, right? Now I've got that in here as the alt title. Okay, so let me go grab that text that we can just kind of use here. And I am going to throw it in here again, into here. And then I'll use this as an example if you want to clean things up. All right, so if you highlight your text like this, you get options. So I would recommend that you have nice subheadings. So let's say, let's call this reason one. Let's do the same here. We're gonna call this reason two. We're going to get rid of that one. We're going to highlight this, make it a, it's called an H2 header and just a header. So I'm clicking on a little H right here. And I'm going to say this is reason three. Okay. Now let's say that I, anytime you like tab down, you'll see this plus. When you open up this plus, it's going to give you options. I'm not going to cover all of these, but if you wanted to embed an image here, you could do that. If you know what Markdown is, you could use that. If you want to do some HTML, if you want a gallery of images, if you want to insert a dividing line, you want to bookmark 
email content. We're not going to get into all of this. I'm just showing you. Like, if you wanted a button in the middle of your page, you could do that. If you wanted to upload a video that you wanted to have right here, attach a file. Uh, it's even got stuff for if you did a YouTube video about this and you have a YouTube channel, you want to embed your YouTube video. Awesome. If you want a little Twitter thing going on in here, if you want to add another image from Spl Unsplash in here, you could do that. So you can see there's a lot of other options here. I just wanted to show you that is available. The other thing you're going to need to do is clicking on links. So let's say I wanted this, if I highlight this and I click on this link, now I could say send this traffic over to ebay.com. Hit enter. Now I've got a link. So again, if I wanted to enter an image for each of these, I would just come put my cursor where I wanted it, come in here. In this case, I could use Unsplash. And I could find another image that I like and say, insert that one, please. Boom, now it's in here. I can also make this full, like full width, like even more full width. You can replace the image. You can give it a name if you want. There you go. All right, so we've just added an image in here just to show you what to do. All right, so now the only other thing that we need to do for this to be ready to go is we need to publish it. But before we do, I want you to click on this little box up here on the top right because I am an old school SEO person and I want you to use SEO. So if I were doing this, and again, this is just like a quick version of some of the SEO strategies. Let's say that my... By default, again, your title is gonna be your URL, but this is too long of a URL in my opinion. So if my target keyword was sell sports cards on eBay, I would get rid of all this except for sell sports cards on eBay, right? Sell dash sports dash cards on eBay. I would work at making my URL shorter. That's just a little SEO tip if you're focusing in on that particular keyword phrase. We wanna keep it public. We wanna go down here to metadata, and this stuff's important. By default, it's going to use your title, which I think is fine to use for your meta title. In your meta description, you're gonna to wanna to type in your meta description. You wanna keep it under, I think around 160 characters. It's saying recommended 145. You would wanna make sure that your keyword phrase, sell sports cards on eBay, is in here. So are you looking to sell sports cards on eBay? In this blog post, I'll share three reasons why you should. All right, so that's good enough for this example. Don't worry about this canonical URL, but now down here at the bottom, it's giving us, let me actually click off of that. Down here at the bottom, it's giving us what we just typed in. So it's showing the meta title, it's showing the meta description. So that's why we're doing this, is it optimizes it for Google, but it also is what people see when they're searching on Google. Okay, now that's done, we can click on this little arrow. You could do some other stuff here. I wouldn't mess with that too much. There's some stuff you can do around, if you wanna narrow your feature image down, if you want no featured image, if you want full featured image, that sort of thing. All right, so now that this is good, you can preview it. And this is what it looks like. You can see what it looks like on the phone, which does not look so good. It's just really clean, I really like it. Love the font, very good font, reading, love it. And if we're good, we're gonna come over here and click on publish. And now you got some options. We're gonna get into this email only, so we're not gonna talk about it here. Publish an email means it also sends an email to your list, let them know that you published a new blog post. And for most people, they're just gonna use this publish only. You can do it right now, or if you wanna schedule it for later, awesome. Come down here, say continue to final review, and then you would just click on that and publish it. 
And now, my friend, you know how to write articles and publish them. Isn't that easy? You can absolutely do this. You just open it up. It's clean. It's minimalistic. You write. You pick images. Put any links you need in there. Set it and publish it. And you're building your audience. I think it's awesome. All right, let's go on to the next video.